In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to master white balance. Well, actually, I'm gonna teach you how to not screw up your white balance too much. First, white balance is nothing more than you telling your camera how you want it to see light. As I sit here in this beautiful vacation home in Crystal Beach, Texas, and I look out over the waves and I see the white caps, and I see the white railings, and I see this color as white. But the railing really isn't white. It's casting off the light that's hitting it, and there's a tint to it. But when your camera looks at a scene, it doesn't process like your brain does. It actually records the color that it sees, and that's not always white. The easiest way to understand color temperatures is to go into any Home Depot and look at the light bulbs. They're not all the same color. Some of them are warm, some of them have sort of a bluish tint to them. Or you can go to the paint department and see all your white options. These whites are all over the board, and each one has a different tint. Now when we set color balance, we use a scale called the Kelvin scale, named after William Thomas, first Byron Kelvin. Light is measured in degrees Kelvin in his honor, and it ranges from orange candlelight on one side of the scale of around 1800 Kelvin to midday overcast blue light, which is around 6,500 Kelvin. This is the scale that your camera uses to set its white balance. So you're gonna have to get used to it. Pretty soon you'll be talking about, oh, that's 2,700 Kelvin, or oh, I think I'll set that to about 45, or let's put that at 56. So most cameras will allow you to custom set the white balance, and you can actually dial in the exact Kelvin number Right here, I'll put it to, let's say, 6,500 degrees Kelvin. And now I'm telling the camera that the light out here is 65 degrees Kelvin. A second way to set a custom white balance is to have the camera tell you what the color balance is as if this were white. We do that by going here and choosing a custom white balance, and then it gives me a little square, and I make sure that I fill that square with whatever is white, and I press this button, and then it sets the white balance. In this case, 5,900 Kelvin. So whether you use the camera to help you set the white balance, or you just dial in the numbers, either way is fine. But there's a third way that is not fine, because it will get you into trouble. Auto white balance very unprofessional and considered too risky. And it's not because your camera is bad at auto white balance. The problem is, is that the white balance in your camera will change, and it will change right in the middle of your shoot. So from the time it takes you to walk from one place, like over there, to walk over here, well, we'll see a different scene, and the color will change. The degrees Kelvin in the camera will have changed. That makes it really hard to adjust the color in post because now my colors are moving all over the place as I shoot. Now don't get me wrong, auto white balance works great in your iPhone for a short little snapshot or for a little clip that you might wanna grab, but for a longer clip or for multiple photos, you're gonna be glad that you didn't use auto white balance. You're welcome. But setting the custom white balance in your camera doesn't make you a master of white balance. You see, if every time you shoot, you always make the whites white, well, that's gonna be a pretty bland look because what it's ignoring is the actual light that's in the scene. And so for this scene, for example, if I make it white, well, then it's gonna appear midday sun. But if I change it, here, let me change it. I've set the degrees Kelvin now to 7,500 degrees. And what that doing is bringing out the gold tones that are in the surf. And that's because I'm trying to get an evening look because the sun is actually starting to come down a little bit. Now, you achieve a warm tone by setting the degree Kelvin to a cool blue tone because what you're telling the camera is, hey, that thing that looks blue, it's not blue, it's actually white. So it sucks out all the blue and all of your gold tones come into the shot. Let's do the same thing and make it look like morning. So now I've set the degrees Kelvin to 3,600 degrees, and it looks like morning. There's blue tint in the water, and that's what you get when you set the Kelvin degrees into a lower setting. Exactly where you set your white balance is not the issue. 
The issue is that you understand what that white balance is doing to your image and that you act purposefully, that you make a decision to get the look that you're going in. If you look at film and television and you look at the whites, you'll see that they are rarely white. There is a decision being made into the mood of what's being shot. So white white caps or a white trim on your building, that may not be your goal. Your goal is art and you need to take control of your art and master white balance.